Beautiful, I can't stop crying. I love you, baby girl. I wish you the best with everything. I want you to be happy and everything. Okay? Not makeup on me. I'm sorry. I didn't mean get to the cry. Tears out now. Oh, you look beautiful. <laughs> Radiant, amazing. <laughs> ah, I didn't want to cry. proclaims the mere fact that God united two unique individuals together to become one with Christ. You are going to become intimately together forever as one, in one union together. You're not going to become 50% Kelly and 50% Andrew or 50% Andrew or 50% Kelly, but rather together you're going to grow in that infinite love for each other so that together your souls can proclaim the greatness of the Lord. going to be times in the marriage life that's not going to be easy. But here's the secret. You are not in it just by yourselves. You are in it with God who so loves you and cares for you and wants you to realize that he's part of this marriage confidence. It's not just you, Kelly, making a commitment to Andrew or Andrew to Kelly, but it's together with Christ that you make an infinite connection to grow in your love with one another. And so when things get difficult, you rejoice together because it's together that you will overcome the difficulty with God. When things are good, you will rejoice together, together with God, for God has blessed your life with so many different things. Because God is always present in the lives of those who place their trust in Him. When I met you both, I knew you both were perfect for each other. You're both goofy. <laughs> you fit right in with our family. There's a lot going on in the world. It's so beautiful to see you here today and to see you happy. I wish you both a happy, wonderful marriage. So much peace and love between the two of you. I wish you both all the best. And I just want to wish you guys the best in life and especially overcoming all these challenges you might face together and you've had a beautiful wedding, and you guys are off to a great start. If you're looking for a successful marriage, or well, successful marriage comes from people who bow down before the Lord and ask God for the wisdom and knowledge to overcome all difficulties in life. Marriage is not about what you're going to have together, the type of home, but rather marriage is about loving each other, even when it's hard to love one another. There's going to come a time, my dear friends, you're going to look at each other and say, oh my Lord, why did I marry that person? But the reality is, hopefully, when you look at each other, you see the beauty of God at work in your spouses because God is present and God is real.